if you want something and it's not been coming, isn't the logical conclusion that something's wrong somewhere? So many people, that's right where they... We're going to start in a different place and just talk briefly and then we'll hear you fully. You get the sense of this vortex and you accept the reality of this vibrational reality and you're starting to get the sense of how it's ready for you to be ready for it and then you get into the receptive mode and an idea comes. And then you can't maintain it because you haven't been practicing it because you've been practicing other things but you had that flash and you had that moment and you had that high, you had that feeling and now it's gone but then it bubbles up again and you get another idea and another and after a while through your own personal experience and through hearing us talking with others and talking about how the process works now you're really getting the hang of this and now you're consistently step three is being in the receptive mode and step four is being really good at being in the receptive mode so now you're really good at being in the receptive mode so lots of things are popping for you and that is where that feeling of worthiness comes from nothing makes you feel more worthy than when you get to be the manifester of what you want worthiness is a human issue and the reason that it is a human issue is because you are the ones that are turning thoughts to things you're the one that are getting to take vibrational rivers of thoughts and stay with them all the way out to their fruition and so of course it's logical that if you get fixated on what is actualized in a way that you can see it and there are things that you want that aren't actualized in a way that you can see it of course it's logical that you would feel not worthy because you want it and it's not coming and you want it and it's not coming and you want it and it's not coming so what could cause you to feel more worthy than to want it and it come in other words here's the proof of my alignment and so just for a moment let's redefine worthiness and let's call it what it really is because what it is not what most people think worthiness is is me behaving in some way that something outside of me approves and then grants me my wish Did you hear that that's what most people think that worthiness is when what worthiness really is is me coming in alignment with my own desires it's all me it's all up to me so once I have come into alignment with what I really want then it has to show itself to me in endless ways and then the result of that is I get the benefit of getting to live the manifestation that I'm wanting can you feel how backwards it is to be pronounced worthy so that I can feel good rather than feel good so that what I've decided is my proof of my worthiness can happen that was good did you follow it Worthiness is not something that's assigned from the outside. It's something that you accomplish through practice. And it's something that you understand that you're on the trail of because you're consistently feeling better and better and better. And you already said that to us. Eight months you said that I've been focusing upon this in a stronger way. And I have lots of evidence. My life is better, you said. My life is better. It's just going to get better and 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 better. Yes. <laughs> I know everything is in the now and the past doesn't matter. And essentially, I guess the future doesn't matter either. It's all my power in the now. So let's talk about what we mean by that. Meaning right now, I can flow or not. Right now, I can let the circuit stay open or I can close it. Because I have control over both my desire and my belief. Because they're both just focuses. So here's a question for you. You're going to really like this. Let's say that you desire something, but you don't believe it. Can you think about what you are desiring and your doubt about it at the same time? It's one or the other, isn't it? So if you just give more airtime to your desire, won't your belief about it become irrelevant? And I feel like I do that most times, but I was talking to a friend of mine and I always seem to fall back in the same routines even though I've felt alignment and I've manifested some beautiful relationships with truly truly wonderful men and but you know here we're just gonna say this to you in a very straight up way 
you're forcing the manifestation before you've accomplished your alignment. That's all that's happening. Because you're like so many people, you believe that something's better than nothing. And then you get in the middle of the something and you find out it's way not better than nothing. <laughs> Something isn't better than nothing. Something will keep you from what's better if whatever it is has you, because it's not easy to focus away from something that has manifested, is it? It's like thinking about a good feeling foot when your toe's throbbing, it's hard to do. Your toe's throbbing, you're thinking, oh, I feel so great, but the toe is throbbing and you're lying about how good you feel. And some of those relationships are like throbbing toes. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. And I just don't want to feel like I'm running away. I always feel like I'm running away from good people because I think there's something more that I know that I want. Well, here's something important for you to know. Really, really, really important for you to know. It isn't that they're not good people. It's that they're not good matches. Exactly. Then how come they keep coming back into my life and they won't leave? <laughs> Why does what I don't want keep coming to me? Because you're thinking more about what you don't want than you are about what you do want. That's the dominant vibration you've got going on. And why is that? Because you're a better observer than you are finding the feeling of something. That's logical. You're physical and you're human and manifestations matter a lot. We want to just put that out there because we can't have it both ways either. We can't acknowledge that you're here to turn thoughts to things and then criticize you for noticing the things that you've turned into things. These things that you've manifested, they get your attention. It's logical that they would, but you want them to not feel so permanent. And that's what you were trying to say to us just now. It's now is more powerful than what has been or even than what's coming. And so the things that have been before will morph into more pleasant things if you're not really fixated, meaning talking a lot. You said, I was talking to a friend and we want you to consider something. All of you think about this, but this is really something worth thinking about. So you get it that when we say you create your own reality, we know you get that. And you get it when you think about being deliberate about what you talk about. It's pretty easy to think about being deliberate about what you think about. So here you are moving through life doing a pretty good job of having a vibration that matches what you want. But you also have some vibrations that are sometimes active that don't serve you. And we call those beliefs. A belief is a thought that you continue to think. Now, some of your beliefs serve you. Some of your beliefs don't serve you so well. So you've got this desire. Have you noticed, we're asking all of you, have you noticed that sometimes when you visit with this friend, Things that you haven't talked about in a long time come up. And when you visit with that friend, things that you haven't talked about in a long time come up. And it's because they're in the conversation co-creating with you. And so often what's active in them becomes active in you or other way around. That's what the power of influence is. Now let's say that you stay away from all of your activating friends for a whole day <laughs> and during that day you feel good you do things that feel good you get outside you bask in the beauty of the day you get tuned in tapped in turned on you make lists of things that you appreciate you do several things that are really pleasing to you so you're really in alignment more than usual sometimes you can't even get together with the friend you were planning on getting together with because there's a vibrational variance. Or sometimes you push through anyway, you get together anyway, but you don't talk about what you usually talk about because you're in a different place and you two aren't clicking like you usually click because you've clarified your vibration. You see what we're getting at? Esther used to laugh because she and Jerry would move around the country and quite often they'd come to a city and they'd meet up with a friend that they hadn't seen for a while and Jerry would tell the same stories that he told last time they were there. <laughs> and Esther would say, do you need me to make a list of what you talk about when we're with these people and we'll just review it before we get with them <laughs> so that you don't tell the same damn story every time, every time we get together. 
And they used to laugh about it because there was something in the combination of those vibrations that just made that the story to tell. So you want to ask yourself, what story do you find yourself telling? Because the more you tell the story, the more active it is within you and the more it becomes your point of attraction and the more it finalizes way too strong of a word, but the more it causes a belief to be powerful within you and your powerful beliefs that are in opposition to your powerful desires are the only problem in the world that you ever have.